Hello everyone, this is Karthik Silvaraj and in this video 15 of new USB tutorials we will be seeing about XML to JSON transformer and uh, JSON to XML transformer. So let me open the project. So I have created a project by the name XML underscore JSON. I will open the flow. So in the first node it is an FTP input. So we are uh, listening or pulling files from the folder called input so I have mapped this I have created a simulated an FTP server and the root folder of this user called new user is mapped to my D drive so this is the folder in which the flow will be listening next I have got a logger which will print me the payload that I am gonna pass the next node we have is an XML to JSON so if you you can find this XML to JSON node under the transform uh, component so if I type XML you can see we have an uh, XML to JSON component just drag and drop it over here next we have a logger component which will print the payload so when the log when the message comes over here it will be an XML message which will get printed and when we the message comes over here the current JSON message will be printed and we have an uh, output FTP folder which will drop the message into a uh, folder called output ok so now the input folder is empty and the output folder is also empty and the file that we will be using for this example is a file called employee so this is a file which contains the employee details so there is a root tag called company in which we have uh, two employee details so the first employee is called Shiva this employee number is 1 and this is his designation and his salary and the projects that he have worked and second employee is Kamal and his employee number is 2 and uh, we have the project he has worked in so this is in XML format and suddenly there is a requirement from the clients that they need all the messaging to be in JSON format so if that is the case we don't have to rewrite all the things again because Mule ESP provides the ability to convert the XML message into JSON messages which with just a, a drag and drop in the form of XML to JSON node. So now what I'll do is I'll just post this file on it and we can see how we can get the exact JSON equivalent of this XML message. Okay. So I'll copy this file and before that I will run this application. So it has been deployed successfully. Now I will post the file into the input folder. <coughs> so now I got the output and you can see that now it is in uh, JSON format. So if you want to see it in proper format you can uh, use codebeautify.org in which you have a JSON uh, view delete this and already this is in a beautiful view so you can see that now the eucalypt uh, xml is being changed into a uh, json message over here so there is no extra steps that we need to write or code in order to make an xml message to json so it's just a simple drag and drop so now if we want to convert JSON to XML again we have a note for that and, and yeah we can see the console output over here as well so as I told okay I mean I am not sure why we don't have that uh, XML log over here let me check that later now let me remove this with 
the JSON to XML. I'll remove this. Okay. So, so I have saved it. So it's getting. It's rerunning now. So it should be ready. It should ready now. So now what I'll do is. So I will create a file. Sorry. And I'll put JSON messages in, in it. Now I'll paste this file into this input folder. Now the output of this should be an XML file. So I'll delete this file in uh, the output folder as well. So now let me post this JSON file into. So I accidentally copied this as well. Okay. Now if you go there, you can see that now it has been converted into an XML message. So you can use pretty XML. So this is just to format your XML. That's it. Nothing, nothing else. So pretty XML will give a formatted way. So you can see that the JSON message has been converted into a proper XML message. So, so this is how you 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 use uh, XML to JSON and JSON to XML transform. So that's all for this video. So I will see you with uh, some other video in my next tutorial videos. So thanks for watching this. Bye.